hilarious. We're going to move on to Get Real with Christina. Ooh. Yeet. I have to introduce myself. Can't wait. Um, I want to talk about the guy who I was talking about in that memory. We won't name him, even though it's his name is written right here. Her first boy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> whatever. Okay. What <laughs> to talk about for him is, I want to talk about uh, standards and respecting, not standards as much, respecting yourself. I just want to tell you the moment. I want to tell you the moments where I finally like stood up to my, to myself, stood up for myself with him, um, with with men, let's say that, because I was born standing up for myself and others. That's all I do. As I run around, I stand up for people all day. I'm not exaggerating. That's all I do. That's my life. But I hadn't been in these boy situations yet. If you watched our last episode, you'll see how I talked. I was a late bloomer. So I was 18 at this point, and I just wasn't very experienced in the uh, world of standing up for yourself when it comes to dating, relationships, boys, blah, blah, blah. So I was dating him, and he was pretty insecure about a lot of things. Um, aren't we all? But specifically, um, singing kind of stuff. He really liked singing, and he kind of wanted to do singing. And I did, too. I really wanted to do um, – I really wanted our band to work and all that. We hadn't um, – this is right before, right before we put the video up. This actually uh, – the first video, Party in the USA, 2009, mm. August, my birthday. This is right then. So I specifically around him did not talk about our band, which our band mm. wasn't even successful, but I just didn't talk about it around him because I knew he would be like weird about it and kind of like insecure Ew. and he would kind of like put it down like yeah, subtly. Lame. So I wouldn't talk about it. So I had a mental note like don't talk about that. Red flag, but I didn't realize that. I was inexperienced. I didn't know. So there was not much in our relationship that I had to like stand up to him about. It was more after we broke up and continued to talk and go like on and off and all that. That's when it really happened. So we broke up. I broke with him, as I stated earlier. And this is where I really had two moments of doing this. And when I did, when I had these moments, I had this feeling and I learned what it is later. It's the feeling of respecting yourself. Mm. It is. Okay. So it sounds really boring, but it's actually, Not it's boring. the best. Yeah. It is such a good feeling. It is such a good feeling. Cause it you might is. be wondering, why do I need to respect myself? You don't have to, but I'm saying if you want, you know, good life, you want to feel good about yourself. You want things to go well. Things things go better when you respect yourself. I can say that as a rule. They go better they go when you respect yourself. Better. They go so much better. You can choose whatever you want, but I'm just saying that. So here's the two moments. We hung out after our breakup. It was my birthday, so the video had just gone up. A part of the USA video, and it had just gone. You hung up with him after the breakup? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Know that. It had gone. I remember this. It had got to 20,000 views overnight, and I was flipping out. I specifically did not mention this to him. I said like one thing. I didn't like talk about it a lot, even though I was so freaking out. I didn't say like, oh my gosh, let me talk about something. I mentioned like one mm. thing, like, oh my gosh. I almost said his name. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh. <clears throat> um, I can't believe this happened for a video. This is so crazy. Um, Cause he knew that we were trying to make things happen for a while. And he was like, and then he said to me, why do you talk about your band all the time? It's so annoying, blah, blah, blah. And in that moment I was like, I yeah. specifically don't talk about it around you because I knew it, you felt weird about it. I specifically don't talk about it. So I, in that moment, <laughs> I like get, got all this, you know, I guess self-respect started to well me. And I was like, well, I turned to him. I was like, I do not talk about it. And I never have blah, blah, blah. I went through it and I was like, you're not going to put it down. This is important to me. You need, I don't know if I said you need to spread that I said, you need to support me. And I was like, I'm leaving. And then I left and Whoa. that was the first first moment of me as a teenager where i was like wow standing up for yourself to boy is great good job i left and he learned oh don't be a rat to christina or <laughs> it's not gonna work out she's gonna leave, leave. the second time for you the second time lisa's birthday september she had a party and at the party you know having fun dancing around blah there's a bunch of people there it was really fun and i someone asked me about him i probably said one sentence about him i don't remember what i said I, it wasn't that dramatic. And so he calls me the next day and he's like, I heard you were talking about me at Lisa's party. And I was like, okay, what What did I say? And he didn't really say what I said because I didn't say anything crappy, but I reserved the right to say whatever I want anyway, but I didn't say anything crappy. And he's like, I heard that you keep telling people that we broke up, but really you need to tell them that you broke up with me. And I was like, what? 
I was saying we broke up so I wouldn't like embarrass you or hurt your feelings because I thought that you wouldn't like it if I said I dumped you. I was trying to be nice to you. So after, as soon as you said that, once again, I was like, what? I was like, I was trying to be nice. And I got all mad and I was like, don't talk to me anymore. Hung up the phone. Oof. Once again, he learned, Christina will hang up on you if you you're act a like rat. an idiot. Yeah, so I hung up on him and I was like, I'm done. And that was the moment where I started to really move on from him because I had been back and forth for two months. After that moment, I was like, I'm moving on. We are not doing this anymore. And I, I just like completely turned my back from that moment. And that was the most amazing like closure, moving on situation. And all it came because I had self-respect because before we had situations where I didn't do that. And I'd just be like, okay, sorry. And nothing good came out of it. But both the times where I really had respect for myself, I was being a respectful person. Wow. Confronted him, blah, blah, blah. Good things. But came. note that she didn't say, I chewed him out and said he was a stupid and idiot. Insulted him. Like, insulting yeah. people is actually very immature. That's rude. It's she, was very, she was very mature about it. She knew that she was not in the wrong. And she's like, wait, you yeah. can't just make me feel bad about slang when I didn't do something bad. Yes. Because like truth. let me tell you, there are plenty of things I could have said in that moment because he was... A, not to be rude, but on your, you got something on your face. I was trying to get it off. You do not need to blow on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Christina's going to slap Catherine. I was trying to help you. I was trying to help you. I mean, like, this is you could just tell face. me. You could just tell me. <laughs> anyway, there was... What was I saying? I forgot I was... You were talking about um, when you know you're... You said there are plenty of oh, things, things you could have said. said about him. Yes, there are plenty of things. He was failing in a lot of ways in his life, and I could have been like, you know what? You're a failure. This, this. Like, there were some bad, <sighs> bad Savage. things I could have pointed out. I didn't point any of them out because I want to be a freaking nice person, which is why I was mad that he wasn't giving me that same niceness back. Bottom line, you deserve respect. Stand up for yourself. Respect other people. Respect yourself. yourself. Good things will happen, even if you have to go through some heartbreak because of it. It will ultimately be good. Respect. Yes. Good. Respect. Doormat. I don't like think there's that. ever a time respecting yourself is not worth it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to say it's the easiest thing, but it's oh. always going to be it's the best thing I can firmly confirm. <laughs> but I would like to say that the first time you stand up for yourself, you you will become addicted to it and yeah. you will want to do it like, as whoo. much as possible because it feels why, so good. That's why you have to take you it. You have to do it the first time. That's why you have to have responsibility. If you have powers of confrontation, you need to be very respectful or else you can step on people and crush Turn their souls. And that is also a bad feeling.